I took the dregs in the oyster with a pipette and magnified it. Then, strange things were found. Today, let's dissect an oyster. I brought a big oyster for today's anatomy. It really looks like a stone. The shell looks so rough that it's hard to tell right now. But the oyster is a bivalvia, so it has two shells. One shell is flat, and the other is round. Oysters are attached to one place and live for life, unlike most bivalvia that can be moved. That's why oysters are also called flowers blooming on rocks in Asia. Surprisingly, however, the rock that oysters inhabit has a surface area of up to 50 times larger than a regular rock. Because of this, oysters are like home to many marine life. So, if you look at the shell of an oyster, you can find many creatures. There's a barnacle on it. And if you look here, weird creatures live like this. If you take a quick look at the creatures that have been discovered, this is the inside of a barnacle. And you can see something like the gooseneck barnacle that I've showed you in the previous video. This is because barnacles are thoracica, like gooseneck barnacle. And I zoomed in on this strange creature under a microscope. And it's alive. This creature is the scale worm and Annelida. And this is the head and mouth. In addition, there are numerous creatures living in oysters, including sea grass, sponges, sea anemone, and crustacea. So, it's fun to observe it carefully when you eat oysters. There are many strange things inside the oyster. So let's start the oyster anatomy right away. First, open the hard shell. Because the shell is sharp, don't forget to wear gloves. And hold the rounded part downward. And cut the shell with scissors. Then you will find a gap between the shell. Bavalvia, which has two shells, has a muscle called the ductor muscle that holds the two shells firmly. So, you can easily separate the shell by cutting the adductor muscle. Oysters have an adductor muscle in the middle of the body, so if you put a scalpel in and cut it, it can be easily separated like this. On the inside of the shell, you can see the traces of the adductor muscle attached. And this is the inside of the oyster. It is said that the more rounded the shell of the oyster, the more the inner flesh is. If you scoop up the oyster with a spoon, you can see that it's thick inside. There is seawater inside the oyster. The reason is that the oyster closes its shell so tightly that no seawater could escape, which allows the oyster to survive for a long time using the water inside the shell, even outside the sea. Next, if you look at the oyster's flesh, this part is the mantle that secretes the shell. If you look at the other side, you can see that it's attached to the shell. Mollusca with shells, such as abalones, clams, and conches, are all produce shells from the mantle. And if you remove the upper mantle, you can see the gills of the oyster inside. The gills are made up of four layers. The reason why gills are such a big part of oysters is that oysters use them to feed themselves. If you look at the gills here, you can see that something is being filtered out. Oysters use their gills to filter organic matter out of the water. I took these organisms with a pipette and magnified them under a microscope. It's a complete shock. I thought they were just dregs, but by looking at its shape, they're probably the larva of cnidaria, like hydra and sea anemones. It's even alive. The food filtered through the gills moves through the cilia to the labial palps and enters the oyster's mouth. The food that enters the mouth passes through the stomach and the gut and then exits to the anus next to the adductor muscle. The part right here is the anus of the oyster. So if you press here, you can see the oyster's poop. Finally, oysters are unique in their reproductive methods. Oysters are sequential hermaphroditism, in which males and females are produced alternately during reproduction period. It has a transsexual process, producing sperm and eggs alternately. Most male gonads in oysters tend to mature first, but they also change from female to male depending on the environment. 
Amazing, wow. right? This is the end of the oyster's anatomy. Oysters have global fame for their delicacies, but are also dangerous ingredients that are easily contaminated by viruses and bacteria. It could be dangerous, so I didn't show it to Sebastian. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe.